Okay, I'm going to try this again. 11.5 inscribed angles and polygons. Our objective is to use properties of inscribed angles. An inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle. So vertex is on the circle. And whose sides contain the chords of a circle. Remember, a chord is a segment that has endpoints on the circle. The intercepted arc of the angle is the arc that lies on the interior of an inscribed angle and has endpoints on the angle. So here you go, you see this is the intercepted arc. That's this portion right here. Okay. If an angle is inscribed in a circle, then the measure is half the intercepted arc. So on my page, I drew, if you're going from arc to angle, you're dividing by two. If you're going from angle to arc, you multiply by two. So the arc is gonna be the bigger one. Okay, so here we get to see some stuff in action. We're given the angle, and so we wanna find the arc. You can use the formula, but remember the angle is smaller, the arc's bigger. So we're gonna multiply by two. So the measure of x is going to be two times 50, which is 100. Again, you could have done the formula, 50 equals one half measure of an arc AB, multiply each side by two, and you would have arrived at the same thing. This one requires for number two, you to remember some information from a previous section. So remember, when you have a central angle, the central angle and the arc have the same measure. So that means this one's 120 because it starts at the center. But to find the angle there, that uh, inscribed angle, remember that's when you have to go to a smaller, because the angle's smaller, you divide by two. So you have 120 divided by two, which gives you 60 degrees. So again, you have to remember that uh, the central angle and the arc are going to have the same measure, but then to find the inscribed angle, given the arc, you divide it by two. And then the third one down here, you have the angle measure of 115. To find that arc, remember that's going to be the bigger one, so you're going to multiply it by 2. So I have 2 times 115, which gives me 230 degrees. Okay, and now we have another definition, inscribed and circumscribed. So if the vertices of a polygon lie on the circle, the polygon is inscribed in the circle. So where the two sides of a triangle or a triangle or a quadrilateral or any polygon meet, that's on top of the circle, then we say that's inscribed in the circle. The circle is circumscribed about the polygon. The polygon is inscribed polygon. And the circle is a circumscribed circle. Okay, so again, you see the here. In the first one, you have an inscribed triangle. All of the points are on the circle, and the circle itself is circumscribed. And the same thing with the quadrilateral. All the vertices are on the circle. Here we have two more um, theorems. So if a triangle inscribed in a circle is the uh, right triangle, then the hypotenuse has to be the diameter of the circle. And then you kind of have the converse next. So if the side of a triangle is inscribed and a circle is the diameter of the circle, then the triangle has to be a right triangle. So if one of the sides is that diameter, remember the diameter is the one that goes straight through that center, then it has to be a right triangle. I think this is where I'm going to leave us off for today, and then we will do tomorrow the working the rest of the problems for these notes. Hope this went well. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye, guys.